Quantum Flower, and last night I saw the Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox is, well, underwhelming and confusing. I, I was overwhelmed by the amount of extreme close-ups and quick movement, but a little bit underwhelmed by the story. Wes Anderson's style can be remembered from the oddities The Royal Tenenbaums and The Life Aquatic, and it resurfaces here with a few of the same old faces. I mean, voices. Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, Owen Wilson to name a few. Movies seem clever on the surface, but always leave me feeling a little bit, hmm, hmm, like uneasy, a little confused, just kind of mildly entertained. The thing that confuses me the most about the Fantastic Mr. Fox is who's the target audience? Because sometimes it seems too old for kids and it's clearly not for teenagers and it's not an adult film. The stop motion animation was mesmerizing at times. For example, the constantly moving fur on the fox's faces, that was kind of neat. The actual stop motion was a little bit distracting to me and it's just not up to par with today's animation of 3D and Pixar. It's definitely not up to par with Pixar on animation or storyline. I got a free download from iTunes of a 15 minute excerpt of the original book so I could get a little bit of an idea of the story beforehand. We were a good 15 or 20 minutes into the movie before that story even started to begin and it was pretty far from that plot in terms of detail. I was a little surprised. I was conflicted watching this because I thought the foxes were so cute. I just wanted to cuddle them. And when they occasionally dropped all of their their human manners to just scarf down some food, I thought it was kind of funny. The kid in me was amused at that. The characters of the kid foxes were played by Jason Schwartzman as Ash, and Christofferson, played by Eric Anderson, were very endearing. They were full of teen angst and a desire to fit in while being overshadowed by your very talented cousin. They were cute. I really liked them. That was probably the bit about the movie that I enjoyed the most was the subplot with the two cousins. George Clooney played Mr. Fox, and I find him to be very charming and witty. His voice is very... Hmm, it just, it's something very calming about it. It's, it's a very charismatic voice. Mr. Fox's character in this story is very reminiscent of Ocean's Eleven, pretty blatantly so, because he keeps exercising heists with an opossum. Willem Dafoe caught me off guard as the rat. He was very, very smarmy. He had like this West Side Story like snapping thing whenever he wanted to go attack someone. I didn't really place his voice until I watched the credits at the end, so I was kind of surprised. Overall, there were very clever moments, there were some sweet moments, and there were a few funny moments. This wasn't completely won over by this film. The animation and the extreme close-ups were a little bit distracting. He throws in the Latin names for the animals as a vocab lesson for the kids. I give it one watching. Great for Thanksgiving because they steal a lot of poultry. And another interesting thing it does is it swears a lot. We're using the substitution word cuss. Where the cuss were you? I'm gonna cuss you and the cuss and cuss that and cuss you. And you know, mm, scared the cuss out of me. I even saw cuss in graffiti on the side of a building. So watch for that if you go see the movie. So it's okay that you guys are just like beep, beep, beep as long as you're using the substitution word. That's a good example for the kids. I'm sure they'll never know the difference of what you're doing. This is my last review before Thanksgiving, so to everyone out there, a happy Thanksgiving to you. You all usually like to leave me comments about how I mispronounce names. How about instead, this time, just give me a little shout out of like, if you were a fox, what food would you steal for your Thanksgiving? What food is so good that you would organize a heist with your neighbor for it? I just came back from the store with Edie's Ice Cream Limited Edition Eggnog Flavor and I am beyond excited. I think I would steal for it. I can't wait to try it.